Welcome to the Family Book Club podcast with Elizabeth Samsetti. Hello everyone. Yeah, I'm actually very excited um, to, to be here on the podcast. I've always wanted um, to bring a um, family and society talk show to podcast. And um, for over like um, six months or so, I've been planning on um, to come here, I've been like procrastinating. No, okay, tomorrow, okay, next month, but um, I'm glad that I'm here. Here I am, okay, and it's all good. It's 2023. I hope um, you started your year uh, on a very good note. I did, and I um, hope the year has been treating you nice so far. Uh, though we've been having a couple of challenges uh, in the country, you know, recording from Nigeria. We've been having four crises, uh, there's the scarcity of oil, we have a lot of queues, and it's been so for different prices here and there. We have um, issues with some um, new notes, Naira notes, the Naira has been changed, we have new Naira notes and then getting it into circulation has also been a kind of challenge for each and every one of us. But we have just a couple of days, two, three days or so, to the deadline that the CDN, the Central Bank of Nigeria, has given to us to switch over to stop the old notes and begin, you know, the usage of the new ones. So I hope everyone is able to comply. And also, 2023 is an important year for us here in the country. And um, I hope all of you, my listeners, have your PVCs. I know that um, getting uh, getting registered was um, a kind of really challenging. All right, a lot of people that intended to get registered were not registered um, for one reason or the other. But for as many of you that were able to get registered, please go get your PVCs because. Um, we need this election is important to us there are so many things that um, have been going on that we intend to change and um, it is in your hand and in my hand for us to get that done the positive change that we seek that we want is not enough for us to just sit out there or make uh, side comments we should go to the poll and make use of us uh, pvcs and then um, choose the uh, new leaders and um, representatives to those that will lead and represent us in the next four years okay um this is a family book club podcast like i said i'm excited and i'm happy to be here um the book club is an extract from family and society talk show we have been running family and society talk show for a while now it's been it's on radio and it's on youtube as well and um, uh, it's an initiative from pure heart family development foundation this is our mailing edition it's, a, it's basically a, a, an episode it's, it's a, an introductory production for where I come and um, give you the basis of what it takes, bringing to you to your knowledge what the podcast entails, the messages, the message that I intend to pass through to you, my listeners, through this podcast. Okay, is um about the you agree with me that the society there's there's been a lot of vibes, bad vibes, terrible vibes that come out of the society. You hear it today, people are going through a lot of mental health in one way or the other. You hear separation, you hear divorces, you hear people committing suicide, a lot of bad vibes. And I feel that um, for all of this um, to like um, come down, to be reduced, is um, working on ourselves as a family. We need to go back to, to, um, to the basis, to the structure, to the foundation of the home, of the family okay to, to begin to get things changed begin to do things separately because it's, there's a saying that you don't expect you don't do the same thing and expect a different result to get them um, a, a different results and new results you need to do things approach things in a different way all right so this is why i decided that um just like i have said family and society has been ongoing and um, family book club is um, uh, an extract from it okay when i say family book club you know we already know that a family entails a man a wife and um, the children of course uh, there are extended families uh, alongside you have different kinds of family families okay then the book club 
a book has um, pages, different pages, and um, well, you know, a club, we have a club, a club is a place where people gather to ease, where people gather to ease tension, where yeah, people gather to read, to study these books, to study and um, play games, so just do things that will make them relax, okay? So, I related it to the fact that the book club connotes life generally. We know that life is a journey and it's in different colors. Life has beautiful colors. It's a you know, it's a sojournment. We, we, we are on a journey and um, there are a lot of chapters in life. This is why on this um, podcast we are going to be talking different issues, diverse issues as far as the family is concerned as they relate to us, okay? And the, talking about our real life issues, real life experiences, real life challenges that's what we're going to be talking about here and these challenges and these issues that we should be looking we are going to be looking at are the chapters of life you know move we shall be moving from one chapter to the other that's you know that's where the book the book comes in and i i, I, I intend that here is a it's a safe place it's a safe heaven where we all meet um you know we gather like in a round table have you know uh, to bring down issues and um, to the table to the round table have them crashed out and get possible solutions to them we shall be having our discussions a different perspective comparing and contrasting views you know from different aspects we should be looking at um Parents, what is it about parents? Okay, we know that parenting is not a very easy thing, right? And um, parenting these days, this is the 21st century, 21st century, and um, we know that the 21st century parent does not bring up their children compared the way it was done in the 15th century, in the 18th century, not even the, the, the you know, immediate past 20th century. They are different, okay? But they, they are, they, why do some parents still go ahead and, you know, do things, bring up their children the way they were brought up? It will not work. Yeah, that is why you see that there's like almost a um, kind of commotion, although always disagreement between parents and children. And at the same time, from the aspect of the children, we shall be looking at their. But we know that you, when we say, when I say children, I'm talking about the teenagers. I'm talking about the young adults. I'm talking about the youth. Okay, we know that they go through a lot. They go through so much. You have no idea what our young stars go through. Okay, we know this, and um, it gets really hard at times. It gets really kind of difficult for parents to get to understand. Their children. So in my time, it it, it wasn't um, it wasn't um, so hard. Yeah, there were so many times when, um, from one point or the other, we had issues and challenges with the way our parents. But we had no choice but just to, you know, follow, obey what they were t- telling us. But um, this time around on this program, we are going to be listening to both sides. And at the end of the day, we'll find um, a common ground. We'll find a compromise, a common ground. Okay, and. Um, there are areas where children misunderstand and misinterpret their parents. The areas also where they make mistakes. Okay, so we want a, a, a situation where we can bond both parents and children together and other members of the of the family, you know, other members of the family, extended family, so that they can be one. There is a saying that you know in togetherness it's when, when there is unity and love and peace when one is united together it is very difficult for for such um, uh, uh, not to be cracked and broken also there is another uh, there's an illustration that it is just a, a stick of room can easily be cracked and broken and when it's a bunch it is very difficult for it to be broken even if you try so hard and forceful you can even just get to injure the person so Staying together, you know, brings more joy. A family that stays together is more happy than in division. And the, another thing I want us to, you know, we shall be looking at is that as we grow up, as we move from, you know, and yearly we grow up, different ages. I want us to begin to act our age. Let's not have so much in our hearts. It is weighty to carry so much grudges, so much unforgiveness. We have to learn to forgive ourselves, okay? And then. Um, we are not just going to be talking in-house family issues. Yes, we talk marriages, we talk relationships, we talk sibling 
relationship, relationship among couples. Also, we will go out there and whatever it is, finances and whatever it is that affects the home, affects the family in one way or the other. We shall be talking finance, we shall be talking politics. I just mentioned a while ago that um, this is an electioneering year. So, it's, 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 family has a lot of role to play. Who do you choose to vote for? How does it feel when some members of the home, one family, is, is supporting a political party and uh, some other members are supporting the other group. How does it feel? What what will, will it be like? You know, it's, it's a place where we shall be resolving all manner, all kinds of conflicts. Okay, we believe um, there should be a strong bond among members of every family. There's a saying once again that united we stand, divided we fall. So on this podcast, we intend. We don't intend to be judgmental. We don't intend to judge anybody. We like to hear your stories. If, if it is okay, in a short while, I'm going to be telling you the medium of truth which you can reach out to us. We expect you to reach out to us. Give a you note. Know, let's get feedbacks from you. We don't intend to be judgmental. So, and um, the as much topics as we may be sharing, and from time to time, I, I can be getting them it gets someone to come to the show for us to you know dissect issues and matters together if we share any story that is applicable to you you can let us know how it has affected you either positively or negatively you mustn't agree with us when you know i mean we are all just here together to find solution you mustn't agree with us on uh, you know everything that we may say you, you may agree or you may disagree or you may also sh- seek your, share your opinion and share your views is very very much allowed okay and um we are not here for show i am not here for show at all i'm an advocate a very strong advocate for the family i have so much love and so much belief in the family and i'm very very unapologetic about that so i'm very very intentional i believe that if, if, if you know that there's this bond and there's this forgiveness amongst amongst some um, members in, in a home in the you know probably amongst friends all right and um and um the, the, we have a go out there with a lighter heart with a lighter mind and joy will flow we will not fall ill all those illnesses having bp blood pressure is as a result of carrying you know things in your chest things in your mind carrying on forgiveness Only forgiveness is a spirit it's a bad one i don't want to be spiritual but that's exactly what it is if you you you, you know you live amongst people in peace in love then it, 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 um, things will definitely get uh, better. You can see, like I had earlier em- emphasized, that um, the society brings in a lot of bad vibes. But right here, we want to begin to replace those bad vibes with very good and conducive vibes for each and every one of us. Okay? So, um, I would want you to reach out to us on um, WhatsApp. We have a WhatsApp line. I'm going to call it out right now. You can reach out to us on 090-2160-4098. 090-2160-4098. Or you can also reach out to us on the, through our email. Okay, our email is purehealthfoundation22 at gmail.com. Purehealthfoundation22 at gmail.com. All right. So, um, like I said, this is um, an introductory aspect of um, this podcast. And um, please get back to us. We need your feedback. As far as this podcast, we need to get back to us and we need to get feedback from you so that we know that we are impacting life, so that we know that you can you can you can get you can hear us exactly what it is that we are passing, try the message that we are passing across to you. So I would like to say a very big thank you to you for, for, for listening to Ralph and um, just in a bit we shall be coming up with our first episode and with interesting these interesting topics that you would like to be a part of. My name is Elizabeth Sonsevi. I'll see you soon. Bye.